In this video, we will be looking at how to ascertain which report or layout needs amending. For layouts, navigate to the tools icon within Sage 200 and select choose layouts. At the top, you can see the layout names. If you click on the drop down, you can see all the layout names within the system. Find the layout name that you wish to amend. For example, if it was the SOP invoice, select that item. And the file name displays the file name as you would be looking for it within Report Designer. So this file name is SOP invoice single dot layout. Cancel the box without making any changes. Then navigate to Tools and Sage Report Designer. First, look within the company folder and each company within their layouts folder for that layout name. If that exists, that's the one that you need to amend. If you didn't have a file of that name within a company folder, you would then need to check the custom folder and the layouts folder for the file layout name. If that file didn't exist in that location, you would then have to look within the default layouts folder for that file name. If you select a file, it tells you at the bottom the full file name. The file name must match exactly if there are any differences, that will not be the file that is your current active layout. So if this had said SW SOP invoice single layout, this would not be the layout that I would need to amend. For finding reports, it's very much the same. So again, if you had company reports, they would be saved within the company reports folder. If you had any custom reports, they would be saved in the custom reports folder and then in a subfolder for that module, such as Purchase Ledger. Or the report could just be a default report, which would be in the default reports area. Again, within a subfolder for that module. Another way for you to check your layouts or reports is to run a report or a layout, and then if available, select the edit option at the top of the report. So to do that for a SOP invoice, if we go to sales order processing and the sales order list, and navigate to reprint invoice. We can select an invoice to reprint and print that invoice. And when the layout opens at the top, you can see I have an edit option that will take me into report designer. At the top, you can see the layout name. Always be mindful of the layout that you are in and are amending before making any further changes. It's best practice to select file save as and save the report within either the company or the custom folder with your initials or some additional text on the file name to avoid replacing the current file. Select save. As you can see the file name on the top left hand corner has now been amended so I can be confident that I am amending my draft copy of this layout. Letters such as the debtors letters also follow the same file structure so first look within your company folder and your company for any letters, then within the custom folder for any custom letters, and then within the default letters folder for any standard default letters. Again, remember to save the file with some additional text to avoid overwriting the original default report.